Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading. Sagittarius, we're going to see what messages are here for you. I always want to remind you that these readings are generalized. So take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't because that will resonate with someone else who's watching this reading. I always try to give as much information as possible. So if any part of this reading is not resonating with you, leave that. So don't try to force any part of this reading. It is for someone else. So, Sagittarius, I want to say thank you for, you know, all the energy exchange that you give on this channel by liking these videos, by commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate that because an energy exchange is an amazing thing because we always work together. I give and you give and it's all good. So let's have a look to see what is happening here. All right, Sagittarius, some of you are going through some challenges right now. All right. And these challenges that you're going through could have been to do with maybe going through a divorce, a separation. Maybe there is just something that has come in and caused some pain. This could be maybe a job ending. There is just a situation that is here that has caused you the three of swords. Now, when we're speaking about the swords, it is painful information that has come in. Why information? Well, when we look at the swords, the swords operate on the mental plane. So this is something, a word that is spoken because um, the swords are also communication. So you could have received news that has just broken your heart, news that has just shattered your current reality. But Sagittarius, I want you to know that if right now you are in this energy of pain, the outcome of this situation is going to lead to something better. So right now, as you are processing what has happened, I want you to know that in the future, there is something wonderful that is coming out of this situation because you have the 10 of pentacles, but we are going to speak about the 10 of pentacles later on because currently being in this energy of the three of swords, this is an energy that you just don't want to sweep under the carpet. No, this energy is all about feeling, processing, what has come in, this information that has come in that has caused you to feel the Three of Swords. And in that energy of processing, you're going to be going through some healing. You're going to just be going through sitting and feeling this information. Whatever has hurt you, you're sitting in that pain. You're sitting in that moment in time. Because when you allow yourself to do that, this is when you allow the situation to be felt, to be healed, so that you can move away from this trauma and go through that energy of healing through the mental health. Because when we come into an energy that causes us to feel the three of swords, our mental, our mental health can just feel unease, depression, anxiety, whatever it is, this energy that is here. Don't run away from it because I already told you that at the end of this, something is good. But it is understanding that at the end of this, that good that we saw as the Ten of Pentacles is going to come from you processing this pain that is here, not running away from it. I know that sometimes it is difficult to process painful situations, but something is good that is coming out from being brave enough to process this information that is here. So it is really important, okay? It is really important that you don't run away from this because we are seeing that by processing this information, this is going to lead you onto a new path because now we have the page of swords. The page is a messenger and the page of swords is also that energy that brings in that new path, that new chapter that is opening up for you. So again, like I said, from the three of swords, a message could have been delivered that has caused you to feel this. Because like I said, the pages are messengers. So a message comes in, it makes you feel like the three of swords. But again, understand that this message that is coming in is going to put you on a new path, on a new beginning that is going to lead to the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So again, we have a process, a transition that is here. This is a transitional period. 
through that dark hour of the soul that you could be experiencing. But again, you are doing all the feeling, all the healing, so that you can have this energy of the Ten of Pentacles. Let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is joy, is happiness. Your mental health is feeling good. Because the Pentacles talk about our health and also our wealth. So you're feeling really healthy. Everything that has happened in the past, that pain has been resolved. You are now here with your family, with your friends. This situation has completely changed. So in the future, you look back at that energy of the three of swords and you're thankful that that moment in time happened because it lead, led you to something that was better. The Ten of Pentacles it really talks about generational wealth so let's say you experience news that your job is ending and you're like oh my god whoa i wasn't expecting that what am i gonna do now what am i gonna do for money how am i gonna feed my family but then this situation leads you forces you on a new path that is all to do with growing your wealth so maybe you start working from home Maybe you and your siblings or your parents join forces to start a new business. Maybe you go online and you start selling something that is just leading to more money coming in, to you progressing on a financial level. And so your health, everything is feeling good. So whatever is happening, I really want you to be brave, to take that pain that is coming to mutate it and then to look back and say, I am glad that this situation happened because if it hadn't, I would never would have experienced the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, the Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. So your money is growing and growing that your parents can enjoy that money. Your kids, their future generations can look back and be thankful for you for having pivoted and turned this situation into a winning formula. So there is a lot of joy that is here. So really focus on, on going through this process. Do not let this process break you. In fact, this process is going to make you, all right? So we're going to see that right now, as you're going through that pain, you're being asked to have an energy of balance, spiritually and also practically, so you are going through that energy that has hurt you. On a spiritual level, you're looking at it. You're like, all right, how can I heal this situation? You're doing all the healing. You're doing everything that you need to do. But you need to understand that you also need to be practical. So you can just be here um, all day meditating, praying. No, you have to be practical. You have to go and do the work that is needed to turn this situation into the Ten of Pentacles. So praying, meditating is not just going to be the key that leads to the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be practical. You're going to go and do the actions that you need to do because we saw that there is a happy ending that is here. The divine wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. So whatever pain that is here, it is not going to completely break you. You and your loved ones are safe. This is just a moment in time that is going to lead to a beautiful new chapter for you. So I thought that was really nice to know that, hey, everything is going to be all right. Just understand that you're going through a transition right now, but this transition is not threatening your safety or your family's safety. You are good. All right. So the next card we have is saying that there's a win-win outcome on the cards for you. So we have this card that is here again, speaking about balance because we have Libra. Some of you are dealing with Libras. Maybe they're the ones who are bringing in this message of pain, but you are not shooting down the messenger. In fact, you're embracing the message that is coming in in a way that is balanced, in a way that is all about, remember, balancing your spirituality and also remaining practical. So there's a lot of balance that is on the cards for you. The next card that we see is asking you to take charge with authority. So whatever is happening, you are going to be stepping up to this situation because you have listened to this message and you've taken this message, this tarot reading, and you're going to use it to take charge of a situation that is going to make you feel 
some type of pain, some type of way right now, but you're going to use that pain to mutate it into something that is going to be bringing in a lot of joy for you. So again, you're going to be wis wisdom. <laughs> you're going to be using wisdom and discernment and stepping up being the lord of this situation, being the lord of the manor, being the authority of this situation. So I really like this card also. The next card is the Shaolin Master. And I like this card because it is all about being graceful in the movements, in the actions that you are going to be taking. Because you're understanding that the Ten of Pentacles are here. Your health, your wealth, generational wealth, your wealth is going to be growing. So as you're moving through this dark hour of the soul, as you're moving through this transition, you're going to be doing that in a way that is graceful. Your movement is going to be graceful. There's no need to fight. There's no need to be um, egotistic. There's no need for that. You're just allowing the situation to happen and you're going to be taking everything in your stride because you're understanding that this situation had to happen to push you to a new chapter, to push you to the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. And the last card we're seeing is the Seer. And so the Seer, again, is giving a similar type of energy that is asking you to see beyond your current situation. So you are looking at this energy and now you're understanding that through this tarot reading, we were able to penetrate deep, seeing this situation through to the other side. We have journeyed from this situation to see what is the outcome for this. So as you are listening again to this tarot reading, I'm now the seer delivering this message to you. And you are taking this message and you are seeing beyond your current situation. You're seeing beyond this current pain because you're seeing that this is leading to a new beautiful chapter. So Sagittarius, this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.